guys, and it's back to me, Anthony. Today, I'll be reading Never Let a Dinosaur Scribble, book number 59. Let's go read. I recently got a pet dinosaur. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everyone keeps telling me, never let a dinosaur scribble. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, dinosaurs are so strong and powerful, so why can't they scribble? I thought if I gave them just one crayon, what could go wrong? Oh, I'll tell ya. He cut Tuck off running towards the wall. We don't scribble on walls, only paper, I yelled. Thank goodness my dinosaur has a short contention span. Just before he's going to scribble on the wall, he knows a couple of stones instead. He started to scribble on one of those stones, which was great, but there's just one problem. He really couldn't see the scribble at all. I could tell he had another idea. He went to grab the this wasn't going to end well. Surprisingly, it didn't make as big as a mess as I thought. He just quietly painted his low stuff, and it turned out awesome. But then he got another idea. He wanted to paint dinosaur-sized stones. It didn't take long before he was rolling boulders into the room, one after another. It had become the biggest rock pile I had ever seen. And the way he painted the rocks was truly extraordinary. But you couldn't see any of my floor or bed anymore. I had to find a place for this rock pile. And quick, then, I was down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped my head out of the door. My mom was standing right there. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, I started when to never let a dinosaur scribble. But to figure out why. So I gave my dinosaur a crayon, and then he ran towards the wall with it. Thank goodness he got distracted with some small stones and started scribbling on them instead. But he couldn't see the scribble at all. So, so he got some paint. He, that he got bigger. Those giant ones, even. And it made a big mess. And I'm sorry. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made some spectacular stone art. When I turned around, there's just a little pile of stones on my table. No huge boaters and no gigantic rock pile, but still some of the best art ever. All this time, people wanted to stop dinosaurs from scribbling. It could be because they try and draw on walls or make a gigantic rock pile. But if my dinosaur had never scribbled, he would have never learned how to make his this amazing stone. So the next time you're here, never learn a dinosaur scribble. Just remember, all great art starts with a scribble, and even dinosaurs have to start somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.